Podívám se ti na břicho, jo? Jo. Jsi ještě ti hrodník. Dobrý. There was a bit of a light bulb moment, say, hey, this really would work and this would save lives and be a huge benefit in mass casualty situation. It's mind blowing. The project started with us basically in the sixth floor of my dorm eating cookies and working on this an hour a week. When you explain the idea, right? It's like, okay, oh, you 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 slapped an Apple Watch or a Fitbit onto a soldier, then you you put a screen to it, right? But how exactly do you create a Fitbit that you can basically turn off completely silent, zero electromagnetic radiation? So, you know, a soldier, an injured soldier, doesn't basically become a giant EMF beacon that says, "Hey, I'm here." These sensors are uh, created to be to be compact and waterproof. It can uh, be even decontaminated and still working. Uh, the main sensors are in these metallic parts, and uh, there is also battery, which is the biggest and heaviest part, and the radio transmitter. Here we see uh, the position of the soldiers on the map, and if uh, everybody is fine, everyone is by blue color. And uh, when some casualty uh, occurs, somebody is wounded, uh, the dot changes color by the severity. Over the course of my career, I have been the frontline medic attending patients on the battlefield. At every level, I can see that if I had that tool then at that time, it would be hugely beneficial to me uh, as a clinical practitioner. And I'm sure it will be benefit to, to everyone who's out there.